It may not come as a big surprise that in the U.S., 46% of people afflicted with alcoholism will develop nerve damage to the feet or legs or even the hands or the arms, and it's called peripheral neuropathy. But what about people who are just recreational drinkers? Are they still at risk for developing peripheral neuropathy? Today, I'm going to cover the link between nerve damage and alcohol consumption. I'll review with you how much alcohol is too much and what's a safe amount. If you want to keep your nerves healthy, you don't want to miss this. Coming up! If you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button for up-to-date and accurate information on peripheral neuropathy and what you can do to overcome it. Also, don't forget to click on that bell so that you can get notified when I publish new content. So, let's talk about how to keep your nerves safe. Alcohol can be found nearly everywhere from grocery stores to restaurants, sporting events, etc. But here's the reality. It's a toxin, which is why it gets us drunk. Unfortunately, that toxicity also has a negative impact on nerve health. Well, here's how alcohol affects your nerves. When consumed, even in small amounts, alcohol will slow down neuron-to-neuron -neuron communications. This means that messages from the brain to the nerves and back again will travel more slowly and less frequently especially to your feet, your legs, your hands, and your arms. When the nerve signal is greatly slowed down, it causes short circuiting of the nerve communication. This will result in both sensory and motor symptoms. The most common sensory symptoms that will be noticed are things like numbness, increased painful sensitivity to touch or pressure. For instance, you might not be able to tolerate the clothing brushing against your skin or the bed sheets on your legs. You may experience tingling or an abnormal feeling around the hands, the arms, the finger, the legs, the feet, or the toes. Changes in perceived temperature. For example, your feet may feel like they're on fire, um, or they may feel like you have them on a block of ice and they're ice cold. You may also experience difficulty in walking a straight line, even when you haven't consumed alcohol. The most common motor symptoms include muscle spasms in the feet, the legs, the hands, or the arms, weakness in the hands or the legs, loss of coordination and balance, muscle atrophy or muscle wasting. So how does drinking alcohol cause all of this damage? Well, regular and chronic alcohol consumption greatly increases free radical damage to the nerves, leading to severe nerve degeneration. Also, Regular alcohol consumption can inhibit the body's ability to use and store certain vitamins and minerals, leading to nutritional deficiencies. Vitamins like B1, B6, B12, folate, niacin, and vitamin E are all needed for proper nerve function. However, they can get severely depleted with chronic alcohol consumption. Now, the question that everyone has been waiting to be answered is, how much alcohol is too much? There are two main factors associated with peripheral nerve damage from alcohol use. The first factor is how long a person's been drinking. The second factor is how much does that person drink? And of course, this will heavily be influenced by gender as well. Statistics have shown that women who drink more than seven drinks per week for a year or longer are at an increased risk for developing peripheral neuropathy. And men who drink more than 14 drinks per week for a year or longer may develop the same nerve damage. So the best way to avoid alcoholic neuropathy is to consume alcohol in moderation. What does that mean? Less than seven drinks a week for women and less than 14 drinks a week for men. And yes, this does include beer and wine. However, if you already have peripheral neuropathy, no amount of alcohol is acceptable because alcohol will react like pouring gasoline into a fire on the already damaged nerves. Thanks for watching. I look forward to helping you get on the road to recovery for your nerve health. Blessings.